you ever think I'm just not James Bond enough? Well, look at this absolute weapon. This is a jetpack, an underwater scooter by Waydo called the Subnado. And today we're going to take it out into the sea. We're going to have a little chat. I'm going to show you all the features. We'll see what this thing can do. I've had a few iterations of these in the past from other manufacturers. But as you know, battery technology these days is unreal. So these should be able to fire me through the water like Iron Man. I mean, who doesn't want to be Superman? Let's get into it. Before we get into all the action, I'm going to go through all the tech specs of this device, everything you need to know. Today's video and my experience of this is based upon me using it from the boat, which you'll see in this video, and from the shoreline in changing conditions against the current. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good place to talk about this. Now, Waydo did send this to me for free, but this is not a paid review. This is not a sponsored review. I've not signed up to say anything about this device. Purely got sent it, probably because I'm one of the only people in the UK jumping in the sea this time of year. So they're intended for scuba diving, free diving, paddle boarding. You can mount these to paddle boards. There is a paddle board mount. So as you can see here, I've got it on the twin setup. Now this year, they take about 1.2 hours to fully charge up using USB-C. I used a fast charger because that's what I charge my drone batteries with and it did it a little bit quicker. You can see on the front here, that there, quarter turn so you can put your cameras on there. So I mounted a GoPro pole to it before. Footage is pretty good to be fair. It feels pretty sturdy in the hands. Again, two of these together, getting them off the boat. If you drop them, they're gonna sink. They do come with a safety leash, so you can put this around your wrist and tie it onto the device. I mean, I would recommend that if you're using it with kids. You can do reverse charging on it as well, so I could charge my mobile phone from it, etc. via the USB. It can go to depths of 60 meters. It's got a battery life of 56 minutes. Now you can tell the battery life because it's got LEDs on the front. I'll switch it on, you see them there. So I've had that out today and I use that for well over half an hour and there we're only down to four bars. It's got 14.3 pounds of thrust. So the top speed with one motor is 1.4 meters per second and with two, two meters a second. And I can vouch for that, I was flying with it. It's got three gears, all which can be changed via the uh, little throttle on your hand by double tapping it. So it's got low, medium and full power or super power as I believe it's called. In comparison, it's 38 centimeters long. So I'll just compare that to say uh, your average Coca-Cola bottle. And what I do like about this is it's got a four blade assembly. Most of the ones on the market that I've seen have got a three blade assembly. I've got to say the build quality does feel solid. It's not plasticky at all. It's, it's like aluminium, I, I'm assuming. I went swimming with whale sharks some time ago and they look really slow and docile in the water. And if I had two of these attached, I could have definitely kept up a bit better because they just swam off. So if I catch up with some Baskin sharks in the future, I'll definitely have these with me. There is a guard that goes in the back here. Now, when I was using it before, I did notice something was stuck in the back here and it's dead easy. You can have a look at the four blade assembly there, but dead good for clearing it out. You can't unlock that if it's turned on as well. So as you can see, an extra guard in here for kids. Now that is a left-hand thread as well. Nice waterproof here. You get silicon to lubricate the inside and the contacts connectors, as you can see, just slide on. Pretty simple, really. It was pulling me through the water and I'm the best part of 90 kilos myself. There's a little throttle handle on the twin handle. The single handle's got exactly the same. Little throttle on there, which is really useful. When you're operating it in Iron Man mode, you've got these little thumb switches. Just put them in your fingers and go like so, or however you prefer to hold it. And they are pretty good. To change the levels, you just double tap it from low to medium and it makes like three bleeps is the fast mode and that's pretty much what I was using in the entire time. As you can see, there's the single handle. So in comparison to the dual handle. And again, the kit came with this. There are full links below for checking it all out. I will try it out deeper. Scuba diving, on off, simple enough. Really decent bit of kit. So when we went out today, we went out on the boat first, dived off the boat, swam under the boat, swam around using the twin handle setup. Uh, I had my fins on. To be honest, I didn't really need the fins. I found out when I went to the beach the next day, I just ditched the fins. I think, I think they might've been giving me some drag. So I actually went faster without the fins. So I did go through quite a bit of seaweed and I did get a little bit of seaweed caught up in the motor and it was dead easy to pull out actually, a lot easier than some of the other devices that I've used. 
Mission one, we're gonna test the jetpack from Jason's Excel Scout inflatable boat at sea, which is most likely how I'd use it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. So this is some James Bond stuff right here. You've upgraded your engine. I have. We've always got this. 20. If we break down, I'll just swim behind it. Yeah, where do you reckon? It's probably gone. It's probably all right, because there's loads of sea in it. It's swimming to like that. Do you want to do a speed test on this piece first? Oh, I'm too up. No, I, yeah, let's go for it. Too up. Let's go. Oh. That picks up so much faster than mine. Oh, I think it picks up so well. That's 19 now. 19 knots? Oh, I'll allow it. That's rapid. Yeah, yeah. That was my top, that was my top speed before I changed the ECU, one up, ready? Yeah, yeah. Get that, what's it called? Subnado. So this is actually two. Um, it's, it's an underwater scooter. So they sent me double the thrust. You can strap them to your arms, your legs. I tried to strap it to my leg, I nearly broke one. <laughs> um, let's just see if she fires up. Don't, don't strap them on separate legs. There we go, that sounds good. One throttle there. Different gears. Yeah, that's sweet. Right, James well, Bond shit. It is James Bond shit, that, isn't it? Let's turn them off. Cheers, mate. Good luck. As I enter the water, I noticed the visibility is pretty poor. We've had loads of storms back to back recently. So my first few tests here are using low gear which is the, probably the best efficiency for your battery or more suited to kids or just cruising around really I prefer a bit of speed medium gear is a bit more spicy as you can see I'm quite deep here and we're uh, we are fighting the current a little bit, but she's pulling me through. Visibility is shocking. We will get it out on a nicer day. You can really feel the jet propulsion. As you can see in this next clip, it's pushing right against my wetsuit. It's not strong enough to knock your goggles off, but you can definitely feel it. It's good fun, actually. <laughs> so now we're going to deploy it from the beach. Quite often I go in the seal colony in areas similar, so I do deploy from the coast a lot. I start off with fins, but I soon ditch the fins because they cause me more drag than anything else. You can't beat the Iron Man look. Quite a few beachgoers were a bit perturbed and confused as to what this guy was doing with these strapped to his arm. But look at this.
bust as well. I had a few little incidents where I uh, cracked a few rocks or bounced her off the floor. So now I'll just show you how the Iron Man mode, and I've named that myself, I'm not sure what it is, how that mounts to your arm. So this is the arm mount, basically you put your arm through there, you hold onto it like so. I tried it a couple of different ways, I tried it on top and on the side, it was far better on the side. That just wraps around your forearm and that just wraps around your arm twice. Again, the same quick release system, felt pretty solid. And it comes with lubricant to put in there as well, which I thought was pretty good. You do have to screw this little part here in, should you want to use it. I never used it on the legs today because you're supposed to have a waist strap to hold it up and I didn't have one of those, so couldn't quite use that. Maybe in a future video. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that first look and quick overview of the jetpack or sea scooter, however you want to call it. I thoroughly enjoyed having it. It's one of those gadgets that I think just brings smiles to your face. Like I say, I'm not trying to sell it to anybody, but there are links below should you want to go and have a look at it for yourself. Plan to use it plenty more from the boats. Keep an eye on this one. Got a future video coming up on this little beast. I'd like to do some treasure hunting on the Isle of Man underwater with a metal detector. I don't think anybody's done that. Who knows what we'll find. Steeped in history, this place. And yeah, I think the kids will love it. I'd like to try it on a paddleboard as well, mounted underneath and also strap it to my legs once I get that waist strap. So stay tuned for that in the future. Thanks again for joining me on this uh, sea adventure. Plenty more to come. All the best guys, have a good week and I'll see you on the next video soon.